Tonight we travel into the dark crevasses of the human psyche and question what it means to be human. This film was one of the most beautifully shot films I have seen in a long time. The use of lighting was, was delicate and gave the movie an ethereal feel. With the exception of a few scenes, everything felt as though it were shot in the magical blue hour before the sun rises. My favorite shot in the film was when a man from West Virginia is on a bus heading towards a farm. The combination of the soft blue lighting with the harsh yellow edge lighting works to add beauty into the film while also to the masking of the subject's face, add mystery. It was this beauty that gave the film its unique psychological effect. Bestiality and zoophilia are subjects that are widely thought of as highly deplorable. The cinematography did everything it could to combat these stereotypes. The pacing of the film was very good. I never found myself thinking the movie was moving too slow or too fast. The scene that disturbed this wonderful pace was one in which an actor in the film was interviewed. This scene not only breaks the pace, but also confuses the viewer and breaks the illusion of the film. When watching it, I was not sure who the character was and what role he played in the film, or even if the events he was referring to took place in the timeline of the film or in actuality. The method of storytelling was unique in this film. Instead of laying out the events in chronological order as they unfolded, the film jumped back and forth, referencing events both before and after the death of Mr. Hands. This is not as extreme as in other films like Memento, a film which the entire story is in reverse. It does, however, build up suspense about Mr. Hands' death, which only takes up a small part of the film, but is the event that drives the entire story. When the director began to speak about the film, I could not help but feel as though he himself was trying not to laugh out loud. I got the very strange impression that in the time since the film was released, he has had differing opinions of the film itself. I have no instances to back this up, but it was a feeling I could not shake. The director also mentioned that he included several references to outer space because many of the people in the small group of friends were science geeks. This did not come across in the film, and to me did not justify the use of these references. As we travel out of the dark corners of our imagination, we ask ourselves, what does it mean to be human?